there has to be consultation. That's one. Consultation is a two-way relationship where citizens provide feedback to government. It is based on prior definition of what the issue is and what the citizens ought to respond to. That's consultation. Two, access to information. Access to information prior to making a decision. That is a condition antecedent to public participation. The question I'm asking is, is that a breach of the requirement of uh, public participation when it was not known or was it a, a new framework that was introduced to raise the bar? And therefore my question, is that unconstitutional or it is a, a procedure that was now introduced is it a mere infraction uh, because it is agreed there was public participation it's only that the bar was raised and when the bar was raised uh, parties were not uh, given an opportunity now to comply with that uh, bar that was raised. Anything uh, that is inconsistent with the constitution, any law is void to the extent of that inconsistency. And this can be read together with Article 165 that uh, deals with the power of the High Court and therefore the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court, and says that the court has the power to determine whether anything said to be done under the authority of the Constitution is null and void. But when you look at the record, you'll find that there was a joint resolution by the Speaker of the National Assembly and the Speaker of the Senate, and as contemplated under Article 123, that the finance bill was not a bill touching on counties, and therefore, this was not an issue that needed to be because it had the, 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 that the joint resolution had been done, and that's why Senate is not was not a part in the Court of Appeal. It did not complain. It did not raise any issue on this finance bill because that had been resolved jointly by the speakers of the two houses.